morning Tuba, so back into our mercenary guys for Dirty Bomb. This time we're going to be having a look at Bushwhacker. So Bushwhacker is one of the objective specialists and he can also lay down a turret which is really really good for blocking off certain areas, keeping people back away from certain places and just generally blocking off tunnels, uh, bottlenecks, all that kind of thing as well. So let's go into... Oh, before his full profile, he's 50,000 credits or £6.99, so he's one of the more expensive mercenaries in the game. Going into his full profile, we can see that he's got 110 health and 410 movement speed. So he's a pretty average character in terms of stats. Uh, he's a little bit quicker than most, but his health is very average run of the mill. So his turret, like I said, you can put this down and each time it detects someone and locks onto someone you get 5 experience so it does build the experience up pretty quickly. However, it seems to be, especially in the past couple of updates, the turret seems to have been made a little bit weaker so they're really, really easy to destroy now which is a bit of a shame to be honest because as soon as you put it up it seems to be getting destroyed so hopefully they can have a look at that and maybe sort that out. Like I said, his other... Uh, skill is being the objective specialist so he can lay C4, repair things, do all that with the objectives really really quick or a lot quicker than all the rest of the classes. So starting with his basic loadout card you start off with a Kek 10 or a KEK 10 which actually from playing a lot of the mercenaries basic cards I would say this is by far one of the best starting weapons in the game it's really really good really high amount of ammo I think you get 45 bullets per clip in that and to be honest it just seems to tear people apart it's a really good standard weapon for uh, Bushwhacker here M9 and the Beg Hill Combat Knife as his melee so what I'm going to do now, just like every other mercenary, is I'm going to go into a game. I'm going to show you a little bit of how to play the uh, how to play this mercenary, how best to use him, which will hopefully improve your game. So I will catch you in there. So then, in game with Bushwhacker, as you can see from the gameplay footage, what you want to be doing is putting your turret down as much as you can, really, because this obviously going to give you a little few points every time you put it down. Plus, you can block off entrances, exits, bottlenecks, tunnels, corridors, all those kinds of things with your turret. Bear in mind, though, like I said earlier on, you can at, or you can actually have these destroyed pretty damn quickly. It only seems to take a few shots from people for them to uh, kill the turret nowadays. So, like I said, hopefully they're going to change that because at the minute it's not overly useful how fast the uh, turrets actually go down. But showing you now, it, the second object or the second skill he has is the objective special. So you can see how quickly I diffuse that really, really fast. Having a look at this uh, footage now, I've just put a turret down to give myself a little bit of defense and I'm really, really rapidly repairing this so I can shut the gate off. It just goes to show you how much quicker the objective specialists are, so really you've got to be making use of it as much as you can because on honestly, they are so much damn quicker than everyone else. Uh, but. That's pretty much all I've got to say for Bushwhacker really, so just keep laying down your turret, making sure it's in good spots where it can't be destroyed really easily by people. Use your primary weapon as you're using your loadout card as much as you can as well, because it seems to absolutely rip through people, as you can see in the gameplay. Um, but I'm going to leave it there, not much else to say for Bushwhacker, so I hope this helps at all guys. Keep an eye out on the channel, there's plenty more mercenary guys up there now for pretty much all the mercenaries. And there's going to be a few more in the future as well. Keep an eye out for them. And I will see you in the next one.